Hello all, welcome back. Today we will discuss about cell cycle. Just a brief introduction about cell cycle. So, what is cell cycle? Cell cycle is a series of events that takes place in a cell as it grows and divides, right? So, in a cell, what whether it is any type of cell, a series of events should take place, it should grow, it divides. Okay, so that is a series of events that take place in a cell as it grows and divides. So there are four stage process in a cell cycle. The stages are gap 1 or G1, S or synthesis stage, gap 2 or G2, next is M or the mitosis stage. Okay, here the gap 1 plus S plus G2 is called the interface stage which is the longest phase or stage right so the second one is the mitosis stage here i have clearly written that gap one synthesis uh, that is s and the g2 phase together is called the interface stage and the next site is called the mitotic phase so in g1 what happens growth g1 phase is for growth s what happens DNA synthesis will take place. In G2 what happens? Growth and preparation for the mitosis. M what will happen? Mitosis that is the cell division. Okay, so there are four stage process. G1 that is for growth. S is for the DNA synthesis. G2 that is for the growth and preparation of mitosis. And next is M that is the mitosis or for cell division. So in the next slide, as we said, in this diagram, you can see G1, S, G2 and M. That is the different phases of the cell. So here G1 is for the growth, S is for the DNA synthesis, G2 is for the growth and preparation of mitosis and next in M, mitosis will take place. Then cytokinesis, that is a cell division will take place. So here you can see the longest phase is interface, that is G1, S and G2 together is called the interface next is the mitosis phase in mitosis phase also different stages are there which we will deal later next is some of the points who discovered the cell cycle scientists Howard and Felt discovered the cell cycle so why is it important why we need cell cycle without cell cycle can the living organisms live no because cell cycle is the replication and the reproduction of cells it is very needed for the survival Without the cell cycle, how the series will happen, how the cell will grow, how the cell will multiply, how the cell will divide. So cell cycle is very, very important for the survival because it is the replication and the reproduction of the cells. So to divide, a cell must go through, must complete several important tasks. What is that? It must grow, copy its genetic material. What is the genetic material? DNA and it will split into two daughter cells. So at the end what happens is that these two daughter cells can start the same process, the exact process from the beginning so that the cell cycle will continue. So what happens? It is a series of events, right? So it must grow, divide and multiply and copy its genetic material. After that these two daughter cells will continue the exact same process, exact same process so that the cell cycle will continue as such. Okay, so how long does the cell cycle take? Different types of cells take different length of time to complete the cell cycle. We the living organisms 24 hours, some have 8 to 10 hours. So as we said, different types of cells take different length of time to complete the cell cycle, right? So here you can see the interface stage. Interface stage is composed of what? G1, yes and G2. So which is the longest stage or phase. In the G1 phase, what happens? The cell will grow physically and increases the volume of both protein and the organelles. In the S phase, what happens? The cell copies its DNA, its genetic material to produce what? To produce two cystic chromatids and replicates its nucleosomes. In the G2 phase, what will happen? Further cell growth and organization of the cellular contents will take place. Here you can see in G1 and G2, you will be confused. In G1 and G2, both cell growth is there. But in G1, cell grows physically. The further cell growth will happen only in the G2. So that is a major difference between G1, that is gap 1, and G2, that is gap 2. What is that? In G1, the cell prepares to synthesize its DNA. 
but in G2 it synthesizes the proteins needed for cell division. This is the major difference between G1 and G2. What happens in G1 cell is only preparing to synthesize its DNA but in G2 it already synthesizes the proteins needed for the cell division that is for the mitosis. So this is the interface stage composed of G1, S and G2. As we said in this diagram you can see the different phases of the cell cycle that is what is that G1, yes that is for the DNA synthesis next the G2. So G1 and G2 is for the cell growth. Here you can clearly see the mitotic phase then the cytokinesis that is the formation of the two daughter cells. These daughter cells will again continue the same cycle. Okay, So the cell cycle is a series of events. It will repeat as such. So next is the mitotic phase right so interface stage has finished so next is the mitotic phase mitosis what is mitosis that is the process of cell duplication in which what happens one cell divides into two genetically identical daughter cells in the various stages of mitosis what happens the cells chromosomes are copied and then they distributed equally between the two nuclei of the daughter cells so that is called the mitosis that is it is simply the process of the cell duplication so the one cell will copy the exact identical genetic material so that is called what mitotic phase or the mitosis so this detail we will deal in the next video of different stages so cell cycle is a series of events four stages is there g1 s g2 and the m phase the longer phase is interface that is composed of g1 s and g2 next is the mitotic phase that is a cell division or the m phase so in mitosis also different phases is there so hope you all understand the class we will deal in the next video the later stages thank you